It's one month since I first checked the breeding box of Goliathus and so after four weeks uh, it's time uh, to check the breeding box for the second time and to have a look whether the female laid some more eggs in the same box where I just uh, picked out the L1 larvae and the eggs that I found. So let's look at the container. It, uh, it's a um, F3 generation, it's the first uh, family that I have and now I have to see whether the whether the Goriotti live, still live, what they do here now look, you see them here the female is eating in a rotten, I think, what is it? could be a rotten fruit and the male is mating with the female here so I will take them out I have prepared this little box for them while I'm searching through the substrate I will try to put them in here but now let's see whether we can take them out the female of course let's have a look here under the under the microscopic lens it's um, with uh, the rose chevrolet. It's sometimes you can see the mating, um, but here they just hold each other. They are not uh, really mating at the moment. The male is holding the female with his arms, and she wanted to to eat something. So what I do, I try to take them out away from each other male here. I have two pieces of fresh watermelon where they can eat. So that's the plate for the next around one hour. While I'm searching the box for more eggs and now uh, let's have a look at the things on the top. Of course the beetle jellies they are they are e all eaten up. This is a rotten uh, peach or whatever. So you can leave these uh, rotten fruits inside of the breeding box. That's not a problem. They can go back and eat as long as uh, something sweet and soft is there. But of course fresh melons they like more because they are more sweet. And as soon as they start rotting, uh, they degrade slightly. So. And here on the top is the bark thing. We have to remove first. Well, and after that, I need this one. Well, the whole thing starts again. Same thing that I did the first time when I went through the substrate. You have to take out everything. So here I already see. Uh, bigger larvae. Um, let's first, I take out a little bit of the top substrate where I don't see uh, nothing. So this thing, I take it out because on the top of the substrate there are rarely any eggs are laid. But here on the bottom, if you have a look inside the box here. You see that there are, can we see that? There are some holes, here's one, here is one. These are the tunnels of the larvae. So in the size of it, you see that it could be already L2 larvae or big L1 because the tunnel is really big here. So let's have a look what we find. We make it the quick way like this, so let's uh, see here. Now here you see this is already an L2. Yes, it's already an L2 larvae of Goriatus. That is really quick in one month, because one month ago the larvae was brought into this, uh, the, the, the pair was brought into this container, and in this time, to become, in one month, to become from egg to an L2, that's pretty fast, because they need around uh, two weeks uh, to hatch from the 
from the egg and now to become an L2 that's two weeks is very fast so what I do this is an L2 I present it to it some cat food pellets that's, that's a nice find L2 but on the other side it's also a little bit dangerous because L2 larvae tend to eat the other smaller larvae and the other eggs that could be found in the substrate so it could be also a problem that uh, one month probably is a bit too long it would be better to go back to a box where you already found something in around um, three weeks I think that would be better so let's have a look what happened more down in the substrate whether we can find some larvae or eggs here this was the white rotten old piece of wood that I dug or buried in the substrate and now we have to go through the substrate and see whether there are some more eggs here or some more larvae here's another larvae this is also an L2 look at the under that under that on the, you see this is an L2, it has a pretty big, uh, a much bigger uh, head capsule than from an L1 uh, larvae, so probably we see another another larvae in L1 so that I can show you the difference between these two stages in Goliathus. So as you see we, we have seen two tunnels and uh, from the size you could guess, you could guess that it's an L2 and that's true for this one. Now so let's see whether they ate up all the eggs of their brothers and sisters or whether we still find some other animals here. That's another L2 here, look. They are younger L2 larvae because they, uh, they have a, a very, they, 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 the size of the head capsule it's practically the same size as the body so they are uh, not old L2 but young ones so I put them back in a cage so that they don't have to crawl around here is one substrate cat food I put around five to six pieces in there because I will go back and check in around one week and in one week they can eat this amount of of uh, cat food so uh, here also around five, four, five pieces now we found three already three L2 larvae that's a lot of uh, big larvae so let's have a look whether we find some more or some eggs also here it's interesting to find so big larvae but in as I said already it's a little bit dangerous because it can also happen that they eat up the young L1 larvae that just emerged hatched from the eggs or they even can eat up the eggs now here's an egg look well uh, let's show it to you that's a younger egg because it has a it has an oval shape you can see that it's a younger here you see it on the tip of this uh, spoon it has a slightly oval shape, you see that here where that's a sign of a younger egg because the older ones they are uh, spherical, round and um, a little bit bigger than this one so I prepare it as I always do put some water in here we don't put more than one egg in a box because uh, they can be cannibalistic and it's better to keep them singly in a box and here we don't need any food pellets or whatever until we see traces that they have been hatched and then we start giving them some food and uh, presenting them some cat food or whatever so so we have rescued one egg 
from the L2 lorry. Not long ago I I have found an L2 lorry that was just nibbling on an egg and eating it up. So that's why I know now that they can be dangerous for the eggs in the substrate. And that's also the reason why some people say they can't manage to get more than 10 or 20 eggs from a female because the, probably the L2 larvae eat up all the other uh, siblings and and all the other larvae or small larvae or eggs that are in the substrate. But this seems to be a compressed part where we could probably find some more eggs. So let's have a look and go through it. So that's it. Sometimes uh, it can be a time consuming thing if you want to do that really good and you have to because if you want to put the uh, substrate back to the to the box for further egg laying so you should be sure that there is no egg or no or other larvae in uh, with the aforementioned reason because if there are larvae still in there they will reduce the amount of um, eggs or larvae that you can get from one uh, pair of females. So I have to go through here. Here's another egg. It's just uh, in a little here that we can see very nice here under the microscopic lens. It's also not a very big one. Seems to be a younger one like some days ago. Out of for this we prepare at a small box and that's the job. Um, now probably next time I go back in around three weeks if I have time because also as you know it's a um, breeding oleotus is not very complicated but it's a little time consuming. You, you have to make a very good uh, plan a schedule when you check the boxes, when you feed them and all this stuff and um, if you want to go for a holiday for three weeks that's the problem, it's called the autos, but it's not with other uh, beetles that you can uh, breed a more simpler one to breed than uh, the autos. So if you want to know more just uh, keep watching uh, my channel subscribe to it or if you are in the playlist, just go on uh, watching the other videos so you will see the progress of the breeding process uh, of breeding Goriotus beetle. Thanks for watching.